so I've got this little opener on a stand. So blade contact, we get a lot of questions. What's blade contact? What do you mean? What we mean by blade contact is we're, it's where our two blades come together at the nose. So right in this area is where we want good blade contact. If we have too little of blade contact, what's going to happen is dirt's going to get up in between the blades. It's going to affect the overall seed placement and the performance of the opener. Likewise, if we have too much blade contact, we'll actually start to bow out our blades and then ultimately pre, uh, premature, wear. premature wear on our, or on our bearings. And so, wear on the blades. On that too, yeah. So like I said, it, one way you'll know if you have too much is if you take a blade off, right here, it'll really have a big wear point on it. So one thing we always talk about is blade contact and what is blade contact? So what we recommend is you just, you just take a business card, slide it down, and you come up from the bottom. So like this is on opener stance, a little bit tougher. And so, and so it's, see, it won't move anymore and it won't move anymore. And so you measure this distance. Our long term or long time drill guys say three quarters of an inch is really the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And so in this instance, we've got, let's see, Brian, I'm gonna come around to that side there. I can't quite see. You know, so we're about, you know, two and a quarter. So we've got uh, way too much play contact. So what's happening is if we were to keep it like this, sure, it's gonna penetrate the ground, penetrate the ground well, but we're starting to flex these blades and we're gonna start wearing everything out. So how would we go ahead and correct this? We, we said, remove your, go your business cards. And I think Brian can probably do it from this side and I can talk about it on, on this side. So each blade comes with shims. So there's gonna be shims on the inside of the blade or there could be shims on the outside or underneath the bolt head. Do take note, anytime you take these blades off, we need to put the same amount of shims back on that fell off. So. Right. And we always want one shim, at least one shim between the blade and the nut bar. So we'll, uh, we never want to run without a shim in here. So we, we don't want that. We want at least that. Yep, it's because it helps keep that nut bar from wearing. So, uh, it's, so you, as you saw, we had too much blade contact. So Brian, we need to so add. We're gonna, yep, we're going to take one out from underneath the head of the bolt. We're going to take one out from underneath the, uh, the head of the bolt and put it here. And vice versa, if we, were, if we didn't have enough, we would want to take the shim out from here and always put it underneath the head. We, we want to move them. We don't want to remove any shims. Yep. That's it. Now we're ready to reassemble it. And like I said, we would, we'll check it again, but you would just keep checking that until we got that good blade contact. Like I said, three quarters of an inch to an inch is really that that sweet spot for these drills. So like I said, he went ahead and redid it. There you go, I can, I can see I it a little bit better. It. Nope, you're fine. <laughs> like I said, so we're, we're closer. And, and I'm doing it by hand. He's so. doing it by hand. So yeah, he doesn't have it tight. So we're about, you know, an inch and three quarters. So we would go ahead and we would probably add one more shim. But like I said, this is what blade contact is and when you guys hear it from us and the importance of it, like I said, it's just helping ensure that that opener is operating the way it should. We're ensuring that the blades are getting as much wear as possible, you know, and we're not affecting or compromising the actual bearing housing. So <clears throat> I'm gonna grab my clicker real quick. One of the things on the BDs that was newly introduced is the left leading blade. We now have uh, the long arm openers. This happens to be a short arm the long arm openers are now the left leading blade. So we have an offset between each row unit to help with the tracking blade uh, all the way across on the BDs. And did you say that it is a left hand thread and a right hand thread yes, as well? Yes, left hand thread, right hand thread. So when you get to working on these, you know, and you're hammering on it with an impact, we may need to yep, change it the other direction. So this helps with that uh, performance. And like you said, that tracking ability. So wing lead and then the alternate leading edge really helps this drill, you know, pull straight.